I did it again. I screwed up twice this year. I made my second live trading mistake and it was a costly one. I lost 70 pips roughly. And this mistake was even stupider than the first one. The first one was like trade management. I mispl misplaced my stop loss, but what I did yesterday is like, I took a trade that wasn't even there. I didn't see the violation of the crucial price point, which would invalidate the potential setup. Yeah, so that's what this video is all about. Stay tuned, I'm coming right up. Hi, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping by checking this video out. I know that a lot of people are not uh, fans of a losing trade and that a lot of people, especially on social media, are just not sharing this, uh, the losing trades. You know, they think that losing in trading is, is not gonna happen, that it's not like uh, realistic. While professional traders lose, like the very best people in this game lose very often. So it's a normal thing, that's why I'm sharing it so publicly. But making a mistakes is not so typical. I mean, yeah, sure, you will make mistakes, but my entire goal for this year is basically just to stick with my trading plan without making any mistakes. And I did already two mistakes uh, for this uh, year. So I wanna show you this one. I did show you the last one in one of my previous videos, but this, mis this mistake was like, it really hurts because I, I made a stupid mistake. I took a trade that I shouldn't even take because there was no opportunity. The One of the price points got invalid, got violated, and it wasn't a pattern that I was looking at. But I didn't see it. I just didn't, I was not focused enough. So there's a lesson on focus while you are trading as well. You gotta be focused, you gotta stay disciplined. You gotta approach market with a clear mind. You shouldn't be too distracted, you know? So yeah, let's go to the charts and let's check out the mistakes that I've done. All right, so here we are in front of our charts and I'm looking at the pound yen. So yesterday when the price action was moving, we had this kind of a chart in front of ourselves. And what I did is I was actually looking at it, the bad pattern that was forming like X to A here, A to B, B to C right there. And then we have a CD completion right here. So let me, let me draw the bad pattern right there, okay? So let me explain to you my mistake. X to A, A to B, B to C right here. And then we have a CD completion right there. And it's a beautiful looking bad pattern. But what ended up uh, happening is this, like I'm gonna move candle by candle right now. Oh, sorry. I don't know why this is happening. Candle by candle, price action starts rolling over, rolling over, and then I saw this. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this bad pattern, and I'm, I saw the potential cipher pattern on pound in that, that I also have in my portfolio. You see this? And this is a potential cipher pattern. However, it never completed. This cipher pattern never completed. As you can see, it never reached to my entry point. Price action came to the B point and then turned around and rallied up, okay? So what I, what I had in my mind, I had my alarm set up for a decompletion pro, uh, point from the bad pattern. As you can see right here, X to A, sorry. Let's do it again. X to A, A to B, B to C, and C D completion. However, where is the mistake? What did I do wrong? Can you see it before I even tell it, tell it to you? If not, let me show you. So when the price action starts rolling over and the vial is the C point before it completed, you cannot use this point, this B point anymore. You gotta move your B point because you have a new low, right? So my B point is not here anymore. The potential B point would be here. But in that case, that wouldn't be a bad pattern. Take a look, X to A, A to B. It's a potential Gartley, okay? Is this a Gartley? Looks like a Gartley. So I would be taking a Gartley pattern. Let me move the, both of them. Let's just leave the Gartley on, okay? So X to A, A to B, B to C, and CD completion. Just to double check, this is this Gartley because it shouldn't close above 78.6 and it didn't. It did touch the, as you can see, obviously you can see this, yeah, okay? So it's a deep Gartley, which is pretty beautiful pattern but I shouldn't be in it because Gartleys are just not profitable, be, profitable for me 
shouldn't go overboard oversold and it did go overbought oversold prior of me entering this uh, trade. As you can see here, this was the prior candle. This is the, oh, it's actually, it would be a Garfield pattern. So I would take a losing trade on a Garfield pattern. So it's not that big of a deal, but it's still a, it's still a mistake. I would probably lose a little bit less than I lost. Lose 21, 20 pips, I would lose 20 pips per, per my, my position and I lost 35 pips per my position. So it's an error, it's not that big of a deal, but it's still a mistake and I wouldn't need, I didn't, I shouldn't be in that trade. I shouldn't have been, you know, because I'm already out and I took a losing trade. I, I would be in this Gartley and as this is the candle prior to my entry candle, it's 68, uh, so it's not overbought. It's, it, shouldn't, it didn't go over 70 my entry would be this candle right here, but I was not in that pattern. I was in this. I was in a bat, which was, I'm not sure why this is not working properly. I was in a bad pattern that's not a bat. This right here is not a bat, and it's not a bat because of this, because of this here. This price point violated my, B, my C point, as you can see, and now I need to move my B point. So that's the error that cost me some money. And I wanna point this out, how important it is to stay focused while you're trading day still, you know, while you're in your trading hours. Because it can, sometimes when you're managing a small amount of money, it's not that big of a deal, but it's a trading mistake. And all of us should aim not to make any trading mistakes throughout our year. Well, at least that's one of our goal, that at least that's one of my goals for this entire year. And with that being said, this kind of wraps up all the mistake that I made and it wraps up what, what did I do and why did I do it? I just didn't see this. I just didn't see this violation because I was so focused on that potential cipher that I showed you and the price action started rallying up and I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna get in the bad and that was not the valid bad pattern. The easier, the thing that makes my life easier a little bit is that it was a Garfield that would still be losing Garfield. But you know, nobody likes losing in trading anyway. And with that being said, I wanna go, I'll give you a small update on my drawdown. I know that I said that I, I, I'm expecting the drawdown and I'm happy being in a drawdown. But if, the thing is that uh, no drawdowns are pleasant experiences and I'm not happy with me being in this road I'm right now uh, it kind of starts sucks you know it, it really sucks for the entire month I didn't get my new equity high and with this being my first live year of trading and I'm still unexperienced with all of this stuff it kind of it I feel frustrated a little bit sure I'm happy knowing that when I get out of it I will be so confident in my system but I'm also kind of anxious and I'm kind of can't wait to get out of this stuff with my two can't wait for my system to get me out of this can't wait for the Christmas time this year to see is my system good enough am I am I ending my year being profitable or oh, for at least 15 percent or so or maybe even more because I'm continuously backtesting and adding more and more strategies that are showing which are showing to be very much pro more profitable than the patterns that I'm current, uh, currently trading right now but it just doesn't feel good and I guess that's normal I have been speaking with my coaches and this is normal in trading and it happens but we have to go through it you know we have we just have to go through this and it, it hurts even more when I see other people uh, you know good good for you guys who, whoever is uh, whoever is hitting a new equity highs good for you I'm happy for you but it kind of puts even more pressure on me knowing that everybody else are making some kind of progress making some kind of money and I'm still st here stuck in my drawdown so yeah eventually when I go out of it it's gonna be a great feeling eventually when I go when I get out of it but we will see when, when, when that's gonna happen uh, and with that being said I want to wrap up this video this is at end of this video I want to thank you for watching and staying until the end of this video also uh, if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing this kind of videos I do on a couple of times per week and I do a daily action daily forest market analysis video on a daily basis when we get some kind of an action just like we did yesterday uh, I upload a video so then I upload my pre-market analysis so that you can see what I'm watching and then I upload a pre aftermarket analysis so that you can see what I did for the day when we got 
got some kind of an action. Uh, also, I was I spent the last two months or so writing an ebook of all of the things that I wish I knew before I started trading live, before I just got into a Forex journey. And I will include a link down below this video to the website where you can put in your details and I will send you an ebook and send you a link to join our Forex trading community. Everything is free. I'm not charging anything for it. I just want to gather as many people as, in, as possible interested in trading and investing uh, so that we can exchange ideas and uh, you know just network with all of the people that are just like-minded like uh, like-minded people in terms of trading and investing and with that being said again thank you very much for staying until the end of this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new smash the bell button click that like button share the video and speak to you soon bye bye